is up guys welcome back to another blockcraft gameplay right here on the awesome kids tv youtube channel we're back yet again in blockcraft as you can plainly see uh, we still have our tower of achievements to fill up with nothing but achievements so far we have gotten only two on the tower and we are trying to go all the way up to the very very tippity toppity top of the entire tower of achievements and if we build the whole thing all the way to the building limit the high limit of this game which is 120 blocks we are going to be achievement unlocking legends that's right i did say that <laughs> we're gonna need a second tower of achievements or something for more achievements or an achievement wall or something that'll be fun but anyway in the last video we have made this nether portal tree thingy and I do have to say, it looks pretty cool. But in this episode, we are going to be making... You guessed it! The ultimate e ancient Egyptian temple style build with a pyramid section and everything. And of course, uh, for this build... Uh, we will use all the necessary ancient Egyptian blocks we have in the game. Just ignore the people who think I don't, don't have all the impressions, but I do. I have all the impressions, guys, and you don't. I will do impressions and you won't. Sorry, that was a misunderstanding. I got misunderstood again. Anyway... Let's get into the build here. But wait a minute, before we get into the build, make sure to subscribe to our channel and let us know down in the comments what kind of build you want us to make in the far future. Let us know what kind of build you want us to make in the future, the very future. And uh, yeah, we shall get right into it. Anyway, let's get building. We're gonna start with a good old sandstone base like this, and we're gonna go out like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go, nine blocks outward, like uh, on that side. Same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go, nine by nine for the beginning. And then we go out like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Ten out that way. And then we fill in this whole entire thing. Yes, I have SpongeBob impressions and you don't. Sorry about that. I misunderstood my friend, uh, my friends and family again. <laughs> anyway, we got this whole entire lot of sandstone to fill in. You see this big thing of sandstone? Yeah, in, the, in one of our previous gameplay videos, I forgot where the face cam was. And, uh, uh, that was kind of embarrassing. I'm not going to forget where it is this time. <laughs> so, yeah. And there was that mall pony tell your tail reaction. We got, we got copyrighted on again. How could we not, though? Anyway, let's get this whole entire thing built. All right. Three blocks up for this little pillar one two three four 
free up like that. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Same thing here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then we go like that. That is looking pretty good. Now we just cover that up. Now we put on the pyramid portion of the build. Yes, the pyramid portion of the build. If I had made Cathead the last boss, uh, TLB, uh, this is probably what the ancient Egyptian, one of the ancient Egyptian levels, uh, would probably look like. This is probably what the frick it'll look like. If Cathead had an ultimate ancient Egyptian themed, themed, uh, level <laughs> all right now that we got the little pyramid part uh complete we can now get to the wall pattern part so for the wall pattern i decided to go two chiseled sandstone and one smooth sandstone that's right two chiseled one smooth one smooth two chiseled and then repeat until the pattern is complete. You want to do this for every single inch of wall, you guys. You don't want to do one chiseled and two smooth sandstone. Because that would just look very awkward. <laughs> this, this wall, though, is looking pretty nice. This is where... <coughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cough on you guys. Anyway, this is where the uh, entrance is going to be. So we'll add an extra two uh, chiseled sandstone. Because that's where the entrance to the temple is going to be. Now we are almost done with the entire ancient Egypt, Egyptian pier, uh, temple. You can say this is the ultimate version of the desert temples you guys are very familiar with. If you are very familiar with them in uh, Minecraft, then you might be very familiar with them in Blockcraft, Minecraft's rip-off predecessor, spin-off predecessor. Yes, this is Minecraft's predecessor. And oh boy, does it look good. Oh yes it does. Yes, yes it does. Alright, let's continue stacking up the smooth sandstone around this here perimeter. After we stack up the sandstone around this perimeter, we are going to add all the booby traps and stuff. Uh, and then we will add uh, some towers and things with warning not to spawn the wither if we could in this game, which let's face it, we cannot. <laughs> anyway, one of the one of the areas in the temple with the pyramid support, uh, we'll have a booby trap uh, embedded into it. Can you guess which area uh, it's going to be uh, booby trapped? Uh, with a tomb that belongs to uh, the mummy? Or the husk, I would say? If you guessed right here, you are correct. This is where the husk is going to be and yes the husk mob is named after the husk of corn uh that you would normally see on corn of course <laughs> don't want to get don't want to get too corny ha get it corny corny corn
Now, all right, enough joking around in awkward silences. Let's get this whole entire place dimly lit up. Mobs love, uh, uh, the husk mob loves a dimly, a lit up place. Especially dimly lit. So that's why we're using the good old fashioned torches to light a majority of this temple build up. There you go, we'll light that up. It looks awesome. Now we just need the door that'll summon the mummy. I'm gonna go for good old birch and then sand and then red sandstone. I know it's orange, but it's still called red sandstone. Anyway, we're now gonna add in the mob that is going to be in here. Uh, like I said, it'll be a, a husk or something. Do we even have husks in this game? Hmm. No, we don't have husks in this game. Oh, darn it. All right, we don't have any husks in the game. Uh, but we do have zombies and zombie pig men. So we're going to use those instead. Oh, come on. You're supposed to get in there. You're supposed to be the mummy. The, the zombie, every time I try to spawn a zombie, it always spawns in the wrong area. Yes! I got in for the first time in like one try, in three tries. I finally got in there. Hmm, there's a better way to do it actually. We're gonna use a monster spawner instead. Oh, what the? That's right, guys. We're gonna use a monster spawner uh, to make an infinite amount of uh, zombies. So, uh, where is that monster spawner? Ah, oh, there it is. Monster spawner. And then zombie. We're making this place bigger, bigger, so that the zombie mob, uh, can, um, spawn in this area. Alright, our ancient Egyptian build is now complete. Let us see. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. That looks so freaking amazing. All right, we got another achievement down. We got another achievement. There you go. Sorry, I had to kill that zombie. Monster Maker. Let me grab my sign. There we go. Now we will move up the tree. Monster. No monster. Monster Maker. Monster Maker. And mummy and mummy dummy. Mummy dummy. We have four achievements now. 
soon we're gonna get all the achievements on the tower so we'll get every achievement but for now thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye don't forget to stay tuned for our next gameplay